What's up everybody? Today we're going to do a quick video on how to do handwritten titles with DaVinci Resolve. What we're doing is we're using a handwriting app on an iPad and we're using the screen record function. I'm using iPad Pro but it does work if you don't have the iPad pencil thing. Write out the title that you want to do in your handwriting while you are recording the screen. Once your screen is recorded and you have your title written, you can export it. I use AirDrop. I'm sure Android has another way to get them onto your computer to import them into DaVinci Resolve. After you stop your screen recording, it will be in your photo album and you can export it. Here's just an example where you don't even need to use letters. You can draw a little picture and animate it onto your video in DaVinci. As you can see, I am a wonderful sketch artist. Don't forget to like and subscribe. After you have your images imported into your project in your media pool, you can select your screen capture that you imported and drag it onto your timeline on DaVinci Resolve. Now that we have it on our timeline, let's go ahead and drag our playhead to somewhere where we can see our complete title all on the screen at once. That way, when we go to mask it, we don't cut anything off. Now in our color tab, we're going to go over to our node section right away and we're going to add an alpha output. Then we'll just connect the two blue dots. What that does is it allows the transparency to show through. Then we're going to go over to our window tool. And on that tool we're going to select the curve, which is the ink, old school ink pen looking thing. Now we're just going to outline just the part of the title that we need. Once again, if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. And leave any comments or questions in the comments section below. Thank you. Alright, now we have our background transparency layer. So now we're just dealing with what is showing up in the white little box thing. Now we're going to go to our qualifier tool and select the color white. Now if you see over in your nodes, everything disappeared but the color white. So we have to reverse that. So we'll set, select the invert button and invert it. Now we see just our text. Now we can play with our fineness controls and adjust our blur ratio and clean the black and clean the whites and get the text looking exactly how we would like to see it. Once we have it how we want it to look, we'll scrub through the video clip to see if there's any missing colors that were not selected with the qualifier. Once we find those, we will use our qualifier adding tool to add those colors to our range. We'll just swipe over them until they're all gone. And then once again we'll check to see how our text looks. All right, now we'll go back to our edit tab. We'll add our lower layer. Here I just have a little video clip of some clouds passing by. We're just gonna kind of arrange the text and the clip to how we like it looking. Next we're going to use our transform tool, which is the little square box. And we're gonna transform it and make it look how we want on the video screen. Here I'm just going to shrink it up, kind of turn it on an angle, get it out of the trees and put it over in the cloud so you can see it better. Once that's done, if you just click on the rectangle transform tool down in the corner, it will take the lines off the screen so you don't have to look at them. Next we'll play it through and see if we like how it writes out. Now it looks pretty good right now but it's a little, little slow in speed. So we're just gonna change the speed and make it move a little bit faster. So how we go about changing our clip speed is by right clicking on our clip and going up to change clip speed. Now we're gonna double it. So I'm gonna go up to 200% and I'm also going to check the box, Ripple Sequence. Now we're just going to edit out the extra time-lapse clip there.
All right, and now we're going to add in some music to that background there. So I'm going to drop down a music clip. Now I can see that my other clips are shorter than the music that I want to use. So I'm just going to click on the end of the clip with the pointer tool, and I'm going to drag it out to match the length of the music. And then I will adjust my handwritten title over to end with the music. Now if we play that back, we got a nice little music going in the background and we have a nice little title for any video or one video or reuse it as many times as you like. Alright, as you can see that turned out pretty good. I like it. I'm just going to trim off the end of the extra audio clip there. And we have completed title. Now I'm just going to fly through and show you my little sketch drawing on just a static background just to show you how it works. Once again, if you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, leave any comments below. It does make a difference. And thanks for watching.